Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about Nest.js testing with the GraphQL. We have already covered all the different scenarios uh, of testing, unit testing and end-to-end -end testing with the Nest.js type ORM, SQLize, Prisma, Mongoose. Now the last part, last couple of videos we are going to cover. One is the Nest.js testing with the GraphQL and Nest.js end-to-end testing with the type ORM where we are going to run the test suit we are going to reload the, the database uh, after every test suit runs so that we should be able to get the clean database for the new test suit. So let's take a look on simple GraphQL testing. So what we are going to do, we have a simple uh, simple NestJS GraphQL setup and here you can see our package JSON. Here we are using Apollo server. I mean setting up the Nest.js GraphQL is sometimes little painful because, because of the versioning. If you are using Nest.js 8.x, if you are using Nest.js Nest 10.x, then you have to choose a specific version of Apollo Server and Apollo GraphQL. So these are the specific modules you need, Nest.js GraphQL, Nest.js Apollo Server and uh, GraphQL, GraphQL tools. GraphQL tools are those are the modules which you don't need. So I'm just removing the modules which are not needed. So Pactum we need for the end-to-end -end testing. So in this video, we are checking both things, the unit testing and end-to-end -end testing when you have a GraphQL setup. So here three dependencies really matters, Apollo, Nestjs Apollo and the GraphQL. If these three dependencies versions are right and compatible with the Nestjs, you won't face any issue in setting up the Nestjs GraphQL and you should be able to run the Nestjs GraphQL server. So here there is, this is just a very simple example. And through this simple example, we are going to take a look on uh, how you can write a unit test and end-to-end -end test with the Pactum. So here in the simple GraphQL server, what you will see, you will see a resolver instead of controller. This is the code first approach. So you will not see a schema here. In the code first approach, you specify your queries, uh, your mutations and subscriptions everything you are specifying through the code so here i have update delete cat delete and uh, give me the single cat and give me the list of cat that is the query and rest all are mutations and cat service is just using mock version of cat array and just doing get one cat update cat delete cat so that is a very simple javascript simple javascript code written in uh, this cat service and cat resolver so our basic objective is to see how you can write the test. But there is no big change. Why? Why I'm saying is because instead of controller now we have a resolver. Resolver is still a class and we can write a unit test for the cat resolver. Okay. Cat resolver uh, has a get cat, get get cats, get cat, insert cat, update cat and delete cat. All these methods. So we can actually mock the cat service and can write the test cases for the resolver. Similarly, we can write the test cases for the cat service. So here we have all these methods. We can define the mock version of those. Either you can just say cat service and use value. The better way of using is define the mock of some of the methods. So you should be able to assert the same while running the test cases for those. You can use use factory use value. In use value, you can just provide a mock version of the cat service. So here we have get cat, get cats. So all these methods you can define in this just dot fn dot mock return value or just specify. Okay, what is the outcome when somebody is calling the get cats method? So here we have a get cats. Similarly, get one cat. So we can just mock this and instead of an object, instead of an array, here we are going to return a simple cat object. So this is the this is taking cat input which is the DTO which have will have which will have an ID and it will return a cat object. So we have defined the mocking of all the methods get one cat update cat delete cat and that is the mock version of the service we are using. Now cat service cat service is already not using any kind of ORM it's just using simple array of cats and playing with that array of object. So we don't need to mock the cat service. 
you can actually hit the actual methods defined here cat service get one cat uh, delete cat update cat we can just simply mock it so here this is how we are creating a testing module and now we can also run the application and see how it really works so our server is working on uh, localhost 3000 graphql is the endpoint and these are the queries we have so first we will send a request and these are the queries we can add a mutation to create a new cat here you can see our mutation works and I, I should be able to create lots of cats and I can query get cats it should be able to give me all the cats I have created in the system right so it's just like a simple graphql query and a graphql mutation so now we need to find out how we can test these queries and mutations through the actual API because it's again a simple HTTP endpoint uh, forward slash GraphQL and where you are specifying the different queries and different mutation and then just sending it as a HTTP request. So we can just use a super test or a pactum for that and we can send these queries in the payload of the HTTP POST API. So let's see uh, how we can write the end-to-end -end test. So here this is the app end-to-end -end test and here we are creating a testing module. And here we are checking all the GraphQL queries, HTTP GraphQL server. So first we need to get the HTTP server using app instance. It's a simply HTTP post request with a query or a mutation. That query you will be specifying in the dot send. This is the GraphQL. So overall creating the end-to-end -end test is kind of a similar. Here we are creating a test.create testing module, importing the app module. And then once we have a create nest application app instance, we can get the request instance from this. So here we are doing app.get HTTP server and then doing a dot post dot send and then you can just assert dot expect it status code 200. And if you are getting something in the response object response dot body dot data. Okay, so this is like a simple HTTP request you are sending and you are released the query here. Similarly, get one cat post GraphQL and you are sending a different query. So you can just uh, copy the query and just make it in line because this is the payload you are sending or you can just use uh, the whole query. So response.body.data.getCat, cat cat should be a single object when you are just getting only single cat and here it is a mutation insert cat that means you are adding a cat and uh, what you should return in the body is the created cat right so here response.body.inserted cat should be equal to that similarly here we are just doing all these different operations we have for the end-to-end -end test so this is how you can simply write end-to-end -end test uh, using uh, super test now the same test we are going to write with the pactum so we have already used a super test and request instance First, we are getting that create testing module, module fixture dot create test, create nest application. Once you have app instance, you can just do app in it and you can also start on particular port because this is nest JS application which is going to bootstrap on particular port. So here we can get the service instance and you can set the URL. So with the pactum, what is the base URL you, your application is going to work on? So we can just hit all the endpoint through the pactum using that. So here we are using pactum for hitting all the API and do the testing. So pactum dot request dot set base URL. We are setting the base URL to the local host. And now we can start writing the uh, end to end test by hitting the endpoints. So first endpoint is the cats. Give me the all the list of cats. So how we are going to write it? Simply we are going to use pactum for for hitting the GraphQL endpoint and GraphQL query is the payload you can say in the HTTP POST API we are sending. So request pactum dot spec dot I mean the syntax is little different but once you write it once you should be be familiar after writing it once so spec dot post post is the URL with the endpoint dot with body there are different options with GraphQL query so pactum has a, this enrich library which also supports the GraphQL. So you don't need to worry about, okay, what is the GraphQL query you are sending? And here you can paste the whole GraphQL query 
query cats get cat is the query and dot uh, expect expect means what is the status code you are expecting from this so we can use expect status and expect body so these are the two methods directly being provided by the pactum library so we can assert expect status and expect body and you will get the whole outcome now similarly we, we are writing the other end to end tests also for this so we can write other test cases also like get one cat update cat delete cat so the first one was get one cat using simple graphql query now we can just scroll so this is the get one cat so the query is different here you can see here we are just passing the cat id get cat cat id so the query is different now now what will happen is with graphql query variable so if you are writing graphql apis then factum is really helpful for the end to end testing because it is providing those methods with graphql query dot with graphql variable that means you are specifying a query use and you are using the variables with the dollar now you have to also replace those values with the cat actual id that we are doing here cat with id 2 right and then expect status and expect body like what will be the overall data you are going to get that we are asserting so this is all about uh, how we are doing a graphql testing i will also post this code in the next js advanced series so you can go and take a look